Welcome back to Grappling with Insanity. Today we're going to run through the seven positions that um, that I typically use for jujitsu. Um, again, these may be different than self-defense positions, um, but you can actually benefit from these with drilling and if you're rolling with someone. These positions will come up the most often. At any rate, let's get to it. So the third position from here is a lot of times we transition into what's called scarf. And that's because this person, um, it, it's another type of controlling. Maybe they bucked. And so what from here, what we're going to do is we have one hand under. And we have one hand under head. My left hand is going to come back to the tricep. Again, we want to hold that their arm on my hip. My right hand is coming to the shoulder. And now this is where we're gonna get into those solo drills that you're doing. And you're gonna do that kind of that sit out. You pick up your legs and you, and you kick your leg through, you thread the needle. So this is like a little hole here. This is a piece of thread. And now you're just kind of sitting through, right? If, we ha if they were on top of us, we're pulling this back. And that's what this arm is doing, pulling this arm back, boom, right? This is called scarf or kesekatami. Um, from, so from here to go back, all you do is pick up on your left foot, create this so it's hinged, right? And now we're just gonna do our, the reverse sit through, back to side control, hand comes under, their chin's in, down. Get back in the scarf, I cup this delt, I cup the tricep, I created, uh, I create my sit out. So I'm gonna position up onto my left foot. I unweight my right leg and I sit through, all right? So if you remember, that drill is this right here. If I'm in here, you can do it from your hand or you can do it from your elbow. Now this will look familiar from side control. From an elbow, I put my foot up in here, sit through, sit through, sit through. That's moving into scarf. So that is position three. 